Uh, hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about CSRF protection. So uh, basically, CSRF means a cross-site request forgery attacks. So if you are not familiar with the principles of CSRF, it's a form of cross-domain attack where a malicious third-party website sends state-changing HTTP requests to our website. So I will show you if you have still doubt and this is the link and I'm going, uh, I shared this link in my description. You can see here how does the CSRF works, uh, attack work. So basically if you observe our application, if you observe our application, uh, 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 there are many risks in our applications. So you use a user logs into our application. A, our, our session cookie is set to continue for 12 hours. So go to main.go. So here, where is this? Uh, 12 dot hour. So here is this. Yeah. So they will remain logged in even if they navigate away from the application. The user then goes to malicious website which contains some code that sends a request to post snippet create to add a new snippet to our database. Since the user is still logged into our application, the request is processed with their privileges completely unknown to them. A new snippet will be added to our database. Okay. So in order to avoid this, I'm going to use the uh, token based mitigation. There are two mitigations that we can do. One is the same side cookies and another one is the token based mitigation. I'm not sure about the same side cookies, and, but uh, I'm using the token based uh, mitigation uh, to mitigate the risk of CSRF for all the user. We also need to implement some form of token check prevention. So in order to do that, I have to use the one th uh, use the third party packages. Okay, so I'm going to use so I'm going to use one is CSRF. Okay. One is CSRF, another one is just an as no surf. So these are two most popular packages for stopping CSRF att attacks in uh, Go web applications. So they both do roughly the same thing using double submit cookie pattern. So I'm going to install this no surf package for stopping uh, CSRF attacks. So in order to do that, I'm going to use the, as you know, in order to install third party package, we have to use go get command. So this is go get command. I'm going to get the latest version. Okay, perfect. It's installed. Just go to go.mod if it is installed or not. Okay, it's installed. Version 1.1.1. Okay. Now I'm using the no surf package uh, to prevent CSRF attacks. So just go to the middleware.co. Here I'm going to create one method, no surf package, no surf method. I already have code. I'm just copy, copy pasting this code. So this is the code and this no surf middleware function which uses the customized CSRF CSRF cookie with the secure path and HTTP only flags set. Okay, if you see this. Okay, we have to enable this all the HTTP only path and secure set okay and then next step will be we have to update the routes.go file 
to add this no surf middleware to dynamic middleware chain that we made earlier earlier videos okay just go to routes.co okay here write uh, app dot session dot enable and no surf okay just save the program okay and if you try to run the program uh, just i will start this I will, I will start the server and we will see what will happen okay just open the browser and if i try to start the server user so we get the four we get 404 page not found okay this is a 400 bad request and so So in order to avoid this, we have to make the form submissions work uh, to uh, in order to avoid this and we have to use the no surf token. So to make the form submissions work, we need to use no surf dot token method functions uh, to get CSRF token and add it to a hidden CSRF token field in each and each of our forms. So that next step is to add a CSRF token field to our template data struct. So go to template.go and here go uh, write CSRF token in template data struct. Okay, this is okay fine. And then next step will be so because why we have added this because uh, the logout form can potentially appear on every page. So it makes sense to add CSRF token to the template data via add default data helper method. So this will mean it's automatically available to our templates each each time we render a page. So update helpers.co. Where is the helpers.co? So this is a helpers.co. And write the code. Where is the add default method? Here td dot CSRF token no surf dot token or I have to import this package in go to go dot mod and to select this no surf copy and go to go back to helpers dot go not helpers.co in the template.co okay it should be helpers.co sorry okay now save this file okay perfect and the next step will be we have to update all forms in our application to use this token so in order to do that i'm going to change each and every file so first one is base.layout.tmpl so so i'm going to placing uh, placing the tag each and every form csrf token okay and then where exactly our forms has so in the create.page.tmpl So in the create.paste tmpl there is a one form here. I have just copy and paste. <coughs> and uh, in login.page.tmpl I have one more form. So where exactly it is? Here it is. So just copy and paste it. Okay. And then in signup.page.tmpl I have one more form so form dot action here okay perfect so restart the server we will see what will happen so um, cmd web 
okay perfect server is running so localhost 400 okay this time it's working perfectly and you can click the login uh, sign in okay so i'm going to use the page source and we will see what will happen so if you observe here you can see that now has csrf token included in a hidden field okay so this is so great and and if i even if i try to submit the form and it works perfectly okay i hope you understand if you want to explore more about csrf attack and i have already shared the link in my description and you can see here okay i hope you understand thank you so much bye bye